What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King Johnson 4 and today people, I would like to share my thoughts about the Call of Duty Modern Warfare trailer. If you guys have not seen the trailer yet, make sure you check out the YouTube channel for Call of Duty and check out the trailer there because, let's be honest here, most of the trailer was actually just the campaign cutscenes, there was like no gameplay reveal, but like, uh, the campaign actually looks dope. Anyways, before we get into the main topic, I will not be showing the full trailer here because I don't want a copyright strike. So anyways, first things I would like to talk about will be the graphics of the game. It's still the same. <laughs> like I've been playing Call of Duty for the longest time. The only time that actually Call of Duty increased on the graphics was after Call of Duty Ghosts. In Call of Duty Ghosts, they hyped up the graphics so much. Supposedly it was different. It still looked like crap on the PS3. And even on the PS4 also with the color palette of gray and grayish. <laughs> so to be honest, it doesn't make any difference. Um, the graphics looks like in between the levels of Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3, and Advanced Warfare. That's how it looks in Call of Duty World War 2 also. It looks clean as hell. But we'll see when the day comes when the multiplayer reveal comes out. You know, we're going to be able to see how the graphics work. But it's going to be looking clean. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, moving on to the next thing I wanted to talk about. Some of the weapon reveals. If you guys did not pause the video a few times, you will notice that the FAMAS is actually coming back. It's, it's either the FAMAS or the F2. I'm not sure what's it called, but I'm pretty sure it's the FAMAS. From what it looked like, it should automatically. So, um, I'm glad that gun is back. And I remember how OP it was back in Modern Warfare 3. That's a three-round burst. Uh, another gun that I saw was the MP5K. I'm not sure it's the 5K or something, but I'm pretty sure it's the MP5. But uh, yeah, that gun is coming back. And also another one that I noticed was the AK-47, if not the AK-74U. But it looks like a regular size one, so it's the AK-47. And then, of course, there was an assault rifle and a pistol being revealed also along the way, which I have no names for. So, um, a lot of weapons revealed during this trailer, and uh, I'm pretty sure some experts out there will notice them right away. But as far as I know, I only recognize three of them out of the many they showed in the whole trailer. Hopefully, when we play multiplayer, hopefully they do have like the P90 or the MP7 or the UMP or even the ACR. That ge that freaking weapon hasn't been in the game since freaking Modern Warfare 3. Hopefully next month we do get the multiplayer reveal. Hopefully we do see some esports, you know, some esports players playing the game. And we're going to be able to see kind of like a feel um, how the game is going to be played and all that with the kill streaks. And uh, hopefully there's no specialist. You know, hopefully it's just regular Call of Duty Modern Warfare before there was even specialist. List. So that's it guys, if you guys want to see more Call of Duty, make sure you subscribe for more because for sure, for sure, I will be bringing in more news in the future. So that is it, subscribe for more, you guys want to see more Call of Duty stuff.